Hello and welcome to this video on how to configure a Windows process for monitoring using the Petrol for Windows KM. To start with, we need to add an infrastructure policy. In the Add Monitoring configuration, select Microsoft Windows Servers as the monitoring solution. Choose the version of the KM that is being used. Under Monitor Profile, choose Processes after which the monitor type is automatically populated to Windows process. Now click the Add button to configure the process monitoring manually. In this video, we will take an example of the Notepad process. Let's go through the fields one by one. The process label is just an identifier under which the data is displayed. So in this case, I will enter Notepad Processes. Here, enter the name of the process without its extension. In this example, I've entered Notepad. You can also enter regex patterns in this field. Remember, if you're using a regex pattern, make sure to select this checkbox. Process Arguments. If there are command line arguments to monitor a specific process, enter the value here. For example, in this case, you see two instances of Notepad processes running. One has a command line argument while the other does not. If you want to monitor this process, enter hyphen ABC as the process argument, else leave it blank. If you want to monitor all the instances of the same process, enter the wildcard asterisk. Since you're using a regex pattern here, this checkbox needs to be selected. Now let's go through the rest of the fields. If the process count drops under the value specified in the minimum count, an alarm will be raised. Similarly, an alarm will be raised if the process count rises above the maximum count value. Acceptable process owner. If you want to monitor a process of a specific owner, enter the name here. Select this option for filtering these processes based on the owner specified here. I will leave this blank for this example. Process settings. Choose this option if you want to generate an alarm when the process stops or starts. If the process stops and you want it to be restarted automatically, you will need to enter the command to start the process here. Now this field indicates the time for which a process is retained and not terminated when the CPU usage of that process exceeds the defined maximum CPU threshold. We'll click OK now and OK and close and save the policy. Now, let's go to the Devices section and see the data that is being collected. As a test, I have opened one instance of a notepad on my server. As you can see, the number of processes monitored shows the value 1. As a test, I have opened three instances of the notepad process. Now let's check the TrueSight console and see if the data is getting populated. As you can see, the number of processes have moved from 1 to 3 instances as of now. Here are the list of other parameters available for process monitoring as well. Thank you for watching this video on how to configure a Windows process for monitoring using the Petrol for Windows KM.